Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74 and this video is actually based on a video Vincent did from HDTV Tests, which is an excellent channel. Love Vincent. Check him out. I'll link his video below so you can actually see his video. And he's talking about CES and LG stating that they're coming out with true HDMI 2.1 OLEDs and 8K displays. And this is big news and I want to talk a little bit about it because some of you have just bought 4K TVs and I'm already getting messages talking about how upset you are, you feel like you're left out on the cold. And I want to offer just a couple words of uh, calming words or realistic words. That way we don't get too caught up in thinking that you made a mistake. And you can look at his video and check it out and get the news from him or check out the CES news now. My wife just sent me an update because she's an IT vice president. And a lot of the CES news was AK, AK, AK. And what I want to talk about is understanding the marketing behind TVs and what will attract you more than two HDMI 2.1. For us, is exciting. However, for many, 8K is what is going to sell. And keep that in mind when we talk about this video about the marketing behind these words. They're made to make you feel like you're out on the cold. Like you just made a mistake. Like you need to go out and buy a new display. And I want to just offer a little clarity. Um, I'm just like you guys. Uh, I'm not as knowledgeable, obviously, as Vincent, who's a professional calibrator. He is very good. He's actually funny as hell. He's very dry, but love his channel. Um, he's very analytical very technical and a lot of his time a lot of times people don't love his opinion on reviews because he's so analytical and like a lot of reviewers he really goes by what's true and what's natural so his recommendations might not always be something you like simply because he's going by the correct color space and everything has to be um very real and by the numbers which isn't always pleasing to our eye if you go by calibrations so anyway back into ces now this is off vincent's um video and it talks about hdmi 2.1 ports it talks also about 120 frames per second we're talking about 8k and we're talking about the ability to have 4k at 120 fps he does mention that Samsung will ha has a display now that is capable of 8K, but only at 30 FPS. Which is interesting because when 4K first came out, that was only available at 30 FPS. These are little catches for early adopters that buy these things and then realize, oh, I can't do more than 30 FPS. It doesn't really help me for gaming. But what's freaking out a lot of you is HDMI 2.1 and 8K, I can't believe it. And what are my thoughts on it? Um, to be honest, at this point in time, my honest opinion, I could care less about 8K. Um, simply because the upscaling of 4K of a 720p source, which is primarily your cable box, or even a 1080p source, didn't blow me away. I don't find 8K to be the next great thing in regard in regards to upscaling, which is really what we're using a lot of these displays for. We didn't have native 4K content until recently. 8K content won't be till way down the road. 4K at 120 FPS or Hertz or 240, the GTX 2080 Ti can barely do 4K at 60. So when you want to purchase a monitor or a TV that can do you know, 4K at 120 or 240, the horsepower behind that, even if you're using SLI, which doesn't really go over two cards these days, it's just not realistic. So the early adopters are going to grab the stuff. But for those of you that just purchased a 4K TV with HDMI 2.0, you're going to have to calm yourself a little bit. They're still a few years away from that being refined or having 8K content. So a lot of you guys are panicking and thinking you made a mistake. Now, where I think there can be a mistake and where you could get into trouble is if you just bought a receiver that is HDMI 2.0 um, because down the road you will need pass-through to be 2.1 if you have a 2.1 display. But in terms of displays, I really do feel like, yes, HDMI 2.1 is exciting. You'll hear that from Vincent in the video. And what's funny is Vincent was wrong and I was wrong because I also did hit, or copied his video 
and put a link into that, I thought they would be at least a couple years away. He's excited because he's in this business and a lot of artsings.com, digital trends, they're all excited about the technology coming up in the future. Those of us in the consumer base aren't super excited about new technology simply because we don't want our stuff to be, you know, just left out and realize that, you know, no longer is it viable for, you know, the present day. What's interesting, though, is in a lot of this text, I'm not hearing 12-bit. And where I think the big difference isn't going to be 2.1 in regards to the bandwidth of 120 frames per second. Unless you're using gaming, I don't really see where that helps us in terms of film. We already know 20, 24 FPS for film, Blu-rays. There's very few 60 FPS films. There are some. I don't have any on disc. So, again, it's typical technology showing you what's coming in the future that you may not need. How many displays or computers or systems have we had where they sat idle? I mean, 1080p, we had 1080p TVs without 1080p content for a while. We had H HD content without H or HD TVs without HD content for years. So our cable boxes are still 720p, everyone. So while I'm excited and I'm, I can't wait for CES and, and watching everything that's going to be new, those of you that just purchased displays, relax. I mean, micro LED to me is more exciting. We'll see what that's going to, I know Samsung has shown some of that. That's going to be huge to compete with OLED. We'll see where that goes. That to me is more exciting. HDMI 2.1, me even having a PC, the horsepower, it'll be another generation of graphics cards. Our, you know, our game systems, our Xbox One X is 4K at 30. Some games may be at 60. It'll be a long time before we can do 120 or 240. So everybody just kind of relax. To me, 12-bit color is going to be the big marketing. It's not going to sound like big marketing, but I can already hear the moniker they're going to use. It's going to be considered 12-bit color will be considered true HDR. That'll be what will really sell it, which will make you feel like, like back when 1080i was something, that was HD. 1080p was true HD. So when we talk about the Dolby Vision and we talk about HDR and Dolby Vision not really able to achieve its full potential because of peak brightness or bits in terms of 10-bit to 12-bit, I'm not seeing 12-bit panels. So HDMI 2.1, I might be wrong, I don't see 12-bit. So all it really is going to offer you is higher resolution and more speed in terms of hertz or frames per second, 120, 240. What I don't see is the 12-bit color panels that are going to give you what I think they're going to say will be, maybe that's the next one. That's going to be your true HDR and your true Dolby Vision. That's when you'll start to feel left out in the cold, as if your HDR is not true HDR. So I want to just talk a little bit about that and have talked a little bit about it as... Yes, if you just bought an HD, um, a new HD 4K TV, it's this stuff is always going to be scary every time this year comes out. Every new year, you're going to feel like, is my new display obsolete? And those of you that purchased 4K TVs right as HDR had launched, you know, we all feel a little bit left out with that. I remember when the first HDR TVs had terrible, terrible blooming, columns of blooming. And those are getting better and better. So, you know, it's always a hard time to know when to buy. But I think even if you want to buy 4K TVs that are HDMI 2.0, you're still safe to. None of these numbers are really going to matter to you unless you're gaming in the future. Or there's going to be 4K, 8K discs. But for me, 8K does not excite me in the least. To me, 4K movies haven't really blown me away in terms of being such a leap over 1080p. So 8K to me doesn't really matter much, guys. Um, again, I don't know as much as these guys know. I'm just saying, like you, like a consumer, I would tell you to calm down. Don't get too upset about it. Um, it is exciting to see what's going to come out. Micro LED is something I'm more interested in. 88-inch um, OLEDs, all that stuff is awesome. I can't wait to see what comes out. But don't let 8K scare you. Don't let even HDMI 2.1 scare you. I think 12-bit is going to be what's most exciting. But who even knows if you'll even be able to see that to your eye. So this is Brian. I'll put video, uh, Vincent's video in below. Thank you as always, and I will talk to you soon.
Take care.